Welcome to this presentation on the sacraments. I'm your host, Monsignor John Zenz of the Archdiocese of Detroit. The sacraments are outward signs instituted by Christ to give grace. Signs. There are all kinds of signs around us, but sacraments are unique as signs because they are signs of the presence and love of God for us and of our desire to come into contact or encounter with God. Sacraments are living signs. They're dynamic signs. They involve the action of the church. Sacraments are of the church and for the church. But yet sacraments are not just the activity of the church. They are truly the action of God and in some way can all be traced back to Jesus Christ. They were instituted by Christ. Jesus Christ himself was really the sacrament of all sacraments, the living sign of God present among us, the Word made flesh. And as God present among us in a human body, Jesus was able to bring healing and hope to people in body and spirit. He was able to speak words over bread and wine, changing them into his body and blood. And so every sacrament in some way goes back to Jesus Christ and celebrates his abiding love for us in and with and through his body, the church today. Sacraments are outward signs instituted by Christ for what purpose? To give grace. And what is grace? A sharing in the very life of God. It is the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is God's love. We grow in love for God and one another through the celebration of all the sacraments. We speak of seven sacraments, seven outward signs that build up the body of Christ, seven outward signs that give God's grace, seven outward signs that give glory and praise to God. And so let's reflect for a moment on the fact that sacraments have both a form and a ritual or a word expressing and complementing the external action. So in the sacrament of baptism, for instance, we have the pouring of water, and yet we also have the formula or the words, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The minister doing the baptism is doing it in the name of the Lord Jesus and the church. And in the sacrament of confirmation, the bishop or minister uses the sacred oil of chrism and confirms or completes or seals initiation by the words or the formula, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. In the sacrament of penance, the priest extends his hand toward the penitent and says the formula of absolution, I absolve you from your sins. And in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, of course, the bread and wine are the form and yet as the priest says the words of consecration and transubstantiation happens, the bread and wine truly become the body and blood of the Lord Jesus. At ordination, it is the hands of the bishop resting on the priest that allow him to be ordained. And in Christian marriage, it is the words of the vows of love that are declared by the couple in the presence of the assembled community with the priest in the name of the church. And so you see, through the different sacraments, we see the way that God is continuing to work in, with, and through his church. And the sacraments truly are outward signs instituted by Christ to give grace. Mm -hmm.